Hello everybody! Neural networks have become a powerful tool to provide multiple opportunities for solving difficult tasks in many fields of life. Using neural networks can greatly improve work efficiency and quality of decision-making, which gives a boost in performance and reduces your cost. Besides, these technologies are very flexible, which means they can be used in a number of different scenarios. Artificial intelligence can cope with extremely difficult tasks within a matter of minutes, while it takes much longer for a human to complete them. Today, I will show you what artificial intelligence can do, with the example of mid-journey. But before we start, let's find out what it is and how it works. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. To begin with, open a browser and type Meet Journey in the search field. Then click on the first link in your search results. This will open the website meetjourney.com. As you can see, it's got a very simple interface, nothing in excess. To start work, click Join the Beta button, and this window will open. Take a short registration procedure, and the Discord window will open. On your screen, you can see the images generated real-time by other users. In the menu on the left, select a Newbies room. In fact, Newbies rooms may have random numbers as every new user is assigned a different number. Go to one of the Nimbus rooms and type the command Imagine. This command generates a unique image from a short or long text description. For starters, let's analyze a simple one. Type Imagine prompt computer on the table. Midjourney creates four variants for you to choose the one you like best. However, the picture is not as good as we would like it to be. That is why we will apply some advanced prompt settings. Prompt is the hint which helps to generate your image. To get a high-quality picture, you need to describe the final result you want to get as well as possible. The hints can be very simple, in fact. Separate words or even emojis can help to create an image. Very short prompts will depend largely on the mid-journey default style. So a prompt containing a more detailed description is a better choice to get a truly unique picture. However, prompts which are too long are not always good. Try to focus on the main concepts of what you like to create. The Midjourney bot doesn't understand words, grammar and sentence structure the way that people do. The choice of words also matters. More specific synonyms usually work better. Instead of using big, try huge or giant. Delete words when possible. Less words means that each of them has more influence. Use commas, brackets and hyphens to arrange your ideas, but remember that Midjourney Boat won't be able to interpret all of them reliably. Also, Midjourney Boat doesn't take into account whether uppercase or lowercase is used. Think about important details. Anything you haven't mentioned in your prompt may come as a surprise. Be as specific or vague as you like, but any element you haven't described will be randomized. 
Being vague in your description is a fine way to achieve variety, but you may not get the specific details you need. Try to give a clear description of any context or detail that are important for you. Let's try now. Type your command with as much detail as possible. Your request is waiting to be started. As you can see, the picture is being generated. Midjourney has created four variants for you to choose the one you like best. The main prompt can be a single word, phrase, or emoji. More extended prompts may contain one or several URL addresses of certain images, a few text phrases, and one or several parameters. URL addresses of images can be added to prompts to influence the style and contents of the final result. URL addresses of images are always placed at the beginning of the prompt. Prompt text is the text description of the image you want to generate. Well-written prompts can help to create amazing images. Parameters change the way that an image is created. They can change the aspect ratios, models, upscalers, and many other things. Parameters are given at the end of the prompt. You might have noticed that images created with Midjourney often have a kind of stylization. They are made to look uh, similar to graffiti or are created in the style typical for a certain historical period. Such effects are achieved by using special style prompts. After all, one of the best ways to create a stylish image is to define its artistic medium. Here is a quick example. More specific words and phrases will help you create an image with a certain look and feel. Here is a quick example. Different eras have different visual styles. Here is another quick example. Use emotion words to give distant personalities to your characters. A full range of colors, and here is a quick example. One more element of a prompt is image parameters, the settings added to the prompt which can affect how the image is created. Parameters can change aspect ratios, switch between mid-journey models, change upscalers, and do many other things. This page has a very detailed description, and I recommend trying these options. I'd like to point out some mid-journey commands. As I was saying, the Imagine command is used to generate a new image. However, there is also an option to create a new image out of several pictures that already exist, instead of generating a new one from the scratch. The feature comes in handy when you need to update an existing image or create a new one by combining several pictures. You can do it with the command blend. Blend is the command that lets you quickly upload from 2 to 5 images and then consider the concepts and aesthetics of each one before combining them into a single new image. After you tap the Blend command, you'll be suggested to upload two photos. Drag images from a hard disk or add images from your photo library with the help of a mobile device. To add more images, 
select the optional options field and choose image 3, image 4 or image 5. The time to perform this command may be longer than other commands because your images must be uploaded before the mid-journey bot can process your request. Blended images have a default 1 to 1 aspect ratio, but you can use the optional dimensions field to select between a square aspect ratio 1 to 1, portrait aspect ratio 2 to 3 or landscape aspect ratio 3 to 2. Also, Midjourney has other commands like this. The Ask command, if you need an answer to a question. The Help command, to display useful basic information and tips about Midjourney boat. The info command to show how much time you have to create images. The setting command to access the mid-journey bot options. If you find it difficult to write a good prompt to generate an image, or you just don't feel like doing it, then you can use special services for creating mid-journey prompts. There are many of them, and they are all different. Let's explore a few services as an example. The first quick prompt generation service is Mid-Journey Prompt Helper. To start using it, follow the link in the video description. As you can see, its design is extremely easy and simple, with a preset of styles, lighting, camera views, colors, and many other options. Select the parameters you prefer and copy the prompt. Then go back to Midjourney, paste the prompt and press Enter. Wait for the image to be generated and then choose one of the four variants. Another service to explore is Midjourney Prompt Generator. This service has a very different interface, but similar principles of work. The same settings and options. Find the link in the description below this video. And finally, we'll explore the service which I find the most comfortable. It's an extension that helps you generate a more detailed prompt. This extension is called AIPRM for ChatGPT. You can add it to Google Chrome extensions. After you do it, open ChatGPT. Here you are. The extension works properly. Select Midjourney Prompt Generator and choose Output in English below. Type the previous request you have used before. Computer on the table. and watch the neural network write several prompt versions for you. Choose one of them and paste it into Midjourney. The image is generated.
and you can see how much better results you get. Summing up, I hope our video tutorial helped you to find your way through mid journey and generate the right kind of image you need. There is nothing particularly difficult as you have just seen. Thank you for watching and remember to like and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Good luck!